morning. This is going to be very, very quick because I've got to get out the door to go to Mum's. But I've just opened this package and it's that little pet bed I ordered. There you are. And there's Lily modelling it. Um, it's quite small. It's supposed to be 21 inches long, but I mean, that's not 21 inches. Unless they go, I suppose they might go from end to end, but I mean, that's not... It's not... Uh, uh, I've got to put a couple of tacks in different places. But it's quite nice if you've got small dolls. There we go. Well, it's quite cosy. And she doesn't look too bad in it. She looks quite good. There's no room for... <coughs> Excuse me. There's no room for Poppy, but I didn't think there would be. Uh, and it's it's quite, it's quite a nice little thing. Uh, I thought it was quite good. I can store it quite easily if I need to put it away. So that's that. Um, answered a tag this morning. Quick tag from Suzanne. From Suzanne's babies. Are you Suzanne's babies? Anyway, Suzanne brought up a subject uh, about limited edition kits. Did you think it was fair that some things are on limited editions? I can understand limited editions because... Um, if it takes off well, then it's good for the person that sculpted it and everything else and the person that reborns it because they're in great demand. But it also, I think, it also um, tempts people like the Chinese. I think they do a lot of copycat kits, a lot of copy kits. And I think it also... How can I say? It also makes them, or encourages them to make more, to copy more, because the kit's taken off so well, and it sells. People are always after it, so that's when a lot of fake ones come into the into the community. You see a lot more fake ones for sale and around and about when it's a well known kit. But there you go. That's just my opinion. Anyway, I thought you'd just show you the kit. The um. Goodness sake, it's rushing. Well, it is a cat bed or a dog bed, but it's also a lily bed. There you go. It's Lily's new bed. I'll speak to you later. Bye bye.